Hey guys, welcome to Restobin. My name is Kushal and in this video I'm going to show you how to install and configure Postfix with Gmail SMTP. Postfix is a MTA tool which is mail transfer agent uh, that use for sending and receiving the emails. In our guide what we're going to do is we're going to configure the Postfix to send only emails via SMTP and we would be receiving the emails in our Gmail mailbox. So let's get started. So I already written an article on this uh, which you can find on this link here. Uh, it says install and configure the postfix. I would be leaving this link in the below description just if in case if you need it. So the things that you are going to cover in this video is how to change the host name. So before we install postfix we need to change the host name so that our server sends email correctly. And then we would be looking into how to install the postfix, how to configure it with the Gmail SMTP and uh, send a test email. And we can also change the display name so that I'm going to cover in the further down in the video. So let's get start with uh, changing the host name first. So by default, if you uh, see the host name uh, which is configured in our digital ocean is the one which you have given the name of the droplet. So I have already opened my uh, SSH and uh, you can uh, see here my currently uh, it's set to restorebin.demo. So if you want to check uh, the host name just uh, copy this and paste and look up. So here you can see uh, my host name is currently restorebin.demo. So I want to change it to something like demo.restorebin.com which would be more helpful for me so what you can do is you can just uh, copy that and paste it so syntax is really simple just host name and whatever the uh, email uh, extension you want just enter and now again check so uh, the host name has changed to demo.restorebin.com so this uh, change is temporary when you restart your system this change might go and again you are uh, old server name or old host name would be still applicable to make this permanent what we need to do is we need to edit the host name file and the host file in our server so for that open in the nano editor the this code just run it it will open the host name in uh, nano editor and you can just edit it to demo.restorebin.com just control x save Yes. So this is how the host name should be set up uh, demo.restorebin.com. In your case, you can have your domain name. Next, we have to also modify the host. So let me copy this one, paste, enter. And uh, you can see here there are two server IP address which is uh, localhost and the server host. So we need to only modify the server host, not the localhost. So let me just put demo.restorebin.com and control X save and that's it. So now our uh, host name is configured. So in order to uh, make this permanent, you need to reboot your uh, server now. So just run this command reboot. So you can see uh, the earlier it was root at the rate restore bin. Now it has changed to root at the rate demo. That means my host name has been changed. So I can just uh, cross check that host name. So it's demo.restorebin.com. So we are completed the first step that is changing the host name. So now next we have to uh, install the postfix. So before we start off with installing the postfix, we need to update our apt library. So let me run this command now. So the repository is being updated. So next uh, you need to run this uh, mail utils. Uh, you need to install that. So this mail utils has all the utilities that we need for a mailing system to run. And this will also install the postfix as well. So just copy this code, paste it. So while this is installing, you will be asked to configure the postfix. So there are multiple options, what is best for you. So here you can uh, read out the options what are available. So I would say the internet site, which uh, mail is sent and received directly via SMTP is what we are going to configure. So just select as an internet site, don't uh, select anything else. Just select the internet site and 
enter host name uh, it's appearing correctly because we have already changed the host name but if the host name is not appearing here properly you can just change the host name again here so let me say it's okay and it will take some time to install process everything meanwhile so just in case if you want to reconfigure that settings the postfix settings then you can use this dpkg command reconfigure postfix so this will be helping you to reconfigure the postfix that we just uh, configured so once this uh, processing is done what we can do is we need to edit the configuration file which is present in etc folder so just open it in the nano editor copy this paste enter so this is the uh, configuration file of postfix so you can see all these uh, rules which are already there so what we are going to do is we are going to make only few changes in this one is we are going to add the relay host to smtp.gmail.com because we are going to use the gmail.com so if you scroll a bit you can see relay host has no value in this so we can just copy this starting part and then paste it and the next thing what we need to do is we need to copy this all uh, encryption and SSL uh, rules so we just copy this one and it should be pasted at the bottom after all other rules so just paste it and uh, we also need to make sure that my host is equal to demo.restorebin.com so if you go here and here you can see my host is already present as uh, demo.restorebin.com and one more thing which you need to change here is uh, changing my destination so currently my destination is added as my host so in order to receive the email in your mailbox that is gmail you need to remove all this extra entries and just keep it to localhost.restorebin.com and the localhost once this is done you can close this file using control x and save it so while defining this what we have said that you we can use the smtp as a password uh, which is present in this so we need to create a password and store it in a sasl file and then hash it to make convert it into the database file which will be used for authenticating the login request so let me quickly open this and paste enter so this is the totally blank file which got created so if you scroll down so this is the syntax how to enter that password so you can just copy this one paste it so I would be uh, hiding this area because I'm going to use my password in here Once this is done, you can just close it by hitting Ctrl X and say yes and then save. Once this is done, uh, you can uh, hash it and create the database using this command. Just copy this, paste it and enter. Just got hashed and uh, the SASL password.db file should be created in the same folder now what we are going to do is we are going to restrict since this file has our password the sasl password file has our password we are going to restrict it to only root level and uh, change ownership to only root now once this all setting is done what you need can do is you can just go and restart your postfix server using this command So I restarted my postfix and uh, clear my screen using clear command. So next what you need to do is the final step in this is to allow the secure non-Google apps to authenticate. Since we are using a third party app which is not a Google app, we need to enable the less secure app to log in into our Gmail account and send emails on behalf of us. In order to do that, just click on this link and you would be here in my accounts. Just enable this option and close it so now your postfix is all set and ready so let's try sending an email using this script control v and let me change the email address to my email address okay so okay so i received an email that i have turned on the less secured app 
and the second email that I received is the email from the postfix that is the test postfix gmail smtp relay via restore bin which is the same thing that I received so this is how you will be able to receive the emails via smtp and postfix if you notice something you might have seen the username of this particular restorebin.demo at gmail.com is coming as root which is nothing but the first name but if you hover on it it will invoke from the gmail database so in order to make this change you have to change the display name which is appearing in the email that we are receiving if i run this command this will show me what all display names are available or what are users i have and what are their display names so here you can see the output is only root uh, which is the root so I have to change that to something uh, of first name and last name. So this is the syntax of it. So sudo change first name, first name, last name and the username which is nothing but root. So for me, for restore bin, I'm just going to copy this, paste it and enter. So once this is done, you can just rerun the command that we have run earlier, enter. Now you can see the username has changed to restore bin demo. Now if I resend the email again, copy, paste and then change uh, to restore bin dot demo and enter. So the full name has changed to restore bin demo here as well as in the contact card. So that's all guys. Uh, this is how you can configure your postfix uh, via gmail smtp to send emails in your ubuntu cloud server let me know if you have any questions cheers guys have a great day thank you